I just like they're accepting that they're like a K-pop girl group, but they're, you know, like unique in the way that they're changing things up. Now you're reacting to JYP Entertainment's new girl group, ITZY, and their 2019 debut song called Dala Dala. The girl group's name in Korean translates to it is, right? Which in this case means to have, as in the girls have everything we would want in a girl group. The lyrics to Dala Dala support the idea of loving yourself for who you are no matter what others think. This can be supported by the lyrics in the chorus. Just pretty but not attractive at all. I'm different from them. I'm different. Don't measure me by your standards alone. I love being myself. I'm nobody else. The song is composed by Galactica and Athena. Galact Athena? Like the goddess? What? Okay. It's time we get with the times. Since 2019 now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 500 BC. One, two, three. These are, dude, these are so Dude, nice. I love how like a lot oh, of like stuff likes to start with just like the raw sounds of whatever they're doing. Like so many music videos like do that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like the ding of the elevator. It's a very satisfying sound. Oh, dude. They got a camera in that dressing room. Good. Ooh, I like this. Ooh! It's just when a, a song like immediately establishes like the tempo and like the groove, it's just like hard not to like it. Like they're just immediately like, you know how it's gonna be like, yeah. Ooh. We got the cowbell. This is such a bop, I cannot like. But also like they're like living like these like super extravagant lives and like while they're saying like they don't care, like it's just like reinforcing that message. So that's super cool. They're just doing them. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Just and like that's really cool. Like life. look at all the cool shit they get to do. Alright, I like this much better. Oh, it's got that kind of like start minor and like then like end major thing going on. Wow, flat six, okay. flat seven. Oh, that's so interesting. Cause the chorus feels like very traditional girl group K-pop to me, but like the intro and the verse and the pre-chorus was like super funky and like very rhythmic and yeah. Oh. What? Oh, that's a... Oh, I like her not robotic rapping tone with the triplet. It's like she's actually talking in triplet. I can't decide if this is the bridge. No, I don't think so. No, I think it was just like a brief interlude yeah. that was different. Or it could be that it wasn't like... That could have been the verse and they just like super changed the format of the verse. <laughs> Yeah, see, now it's the chorus, and you can tell because it's major. Yeah. Seres from... It's major because they love being themselves. Yeah. See, I, I like the sound that, they, that they're starting to get, like, that they're getting in, like, the chorus, I think, right here. But it's, like, I feel like I would just like them to expand on that. Whoa! Oh, this bridge is great. Yeah, this is definitely the bridge. And this still feels very K-pop. It's like they're accepting that they're like a K-pop girl group, but they're, you know, like unique in the way that they're changing things up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay! Where the hell did we go? No, like really, like what? <laughs> um... And we're back, okay. And we're back, and we're back, don't worry. That was strange. What? Oh. Wow. Okay, so this is like the chorus, but like the last version of the chorus, but like all of the all harmony of the and all of the- together, yeah. yeah has, it's become completely rhythmic again. Nice. Why do you show these things to me? I don't need more music in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, there's no such thing as too much music. No, the problem is that there is too much out there. Oh, and there's too much out there that I like, uh -huh. and you bring in more. <laughs> I don't have time for all of this. Or money. <laughs> or money.
Yay! Okay, that was very exciting. You can argue that there's a lot of formulas in K-pop, but it's really cool to see the formula mixed in a new way, and in a way that's very exciting, and unexpected, and twisty. But yet still, like, not convoluted, and still appealing, you know, to the most pop sensibilities. Because that's what I'm in for. I thought it was so cool. <laughs> like, you go from, like, some heavy house, bass was just going at it, at your ears and then all of a sudden the, the light treble of the chorus was just it was so refreshing every time you hit the chorus because it's if you listen to house or dubstep or anything where it's edm edm related i don't know it can get pretty dry if you don't add anything else but for them they to avoid that they just added a different genre so it's like a lot lighter and then there's that like oh my goodness it was like a psychedelic trip like everything was just you're flying through these genres, it's like everything's mending together. And even the visuals was just like, that was some stellar stuff. Looks like you have lots of thoughts. It's like, it's not like I didn't like it, but I didn't, I don't know. Didn't love I it. like didn't like it, but I didn't also not like it. I don't know if it was like sensory overload with the video. So I don't know if I would have a different opinion if I just listened to the song rather than like seeing the video. I don't know, I also just didn't feel like like we had like kind of like the like bad girl concept, but then it was like a really cutesy upbeat chorus. I was just very confused as to the vibe of like the whole group, like aesthetic. I'm like on the fence. So I assume the fact that they took a traditional pop song format and messed with it is significant. Yeah, goes with the theme. I thought it made it really unique. I mean, we Im immediately picked up on the the difference between the two, but the way they kind of like stated both of them in different sections and then kind of put them together at the end. I can't be mad at it because I think it it kind of pushes the the meaning of the song, which is you take something that everyone wants to see in this cookie cutter way and you say no, I'm actually not this way, but I still love myself. Uh, you know, I, I think it drives the message pretty well. Okay, so Charles Ives. Oh no. Charles Ives was a <clears throat> modernist composer who wrote in a style that we call musical collage. His thing was about mixing different styles and forms and different musical references. So like, you know, his piano concerto, the Alcott's, it has quotations of Beethoven's Fifth in it, which like has nothing to do with it at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, musicologically it does, but like, like hearing it, it doesn't. So like, this is kind of a thing that composers have been messing with for a while, like mishmashing, mixing up different styles and forms in order to like, <coughs> kind of make the listener second guess themselves. Um, yeah. So if Charles Ives can do it, they yeah. can do it. And I mean, the, the same goes with any craft. We're all kind of standing on the shoulders of giants. So when we talk about like what musical borrowing is and how that's happened throughout history, composers will borrow, whether it's a genres or specific techniques, you know, they'll, people will generally tend to borrow, you know, at their free will, but the product, you know, in the end has to be better than what came before in a way for it to really be relevant. And I think that this song definitely did that. I didn't think it was, you know, Incohesive. I thought it was. I thought it was a nice blend. I thought it was great. Like I suppose this would be like a good like kind of like clubbing song maybe, just for like a raw just like jump element. But like you have like this like kind of just like super just kind of like superficial party vibe, but then you kind of show it's like we can sing, and it's like I would like to hear a little bit more of that. Especially when they get into like the lyrical little section. I thought that was pretty cool. And then yeah, they do like that really cool moment where they pop off in that you know that you know uncharted territory. But it's like I feel like. There's like, you see the potential for more of that and you want more of that, but then you just get confetti thrown in your face. Well, there was a really good harmonic idea. Like that was really cool. And like, especially that they chose like the like wub sound to pull it off and you could like actually hear it. Yeah, that, that. yeah, that was, <laughs> it was you. Uh, <laughs> that was really cool. It's just like, yeah. I feel like they had just two very stark different like directions trying to throw it into one song. It's yeah. just like pick pick one and go with it, you know? I wasn't convinced it was a party song. I wasn't convinced that it was like a musical song song. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. yeah. I feel like the verses were kind of talking like about what they don't need. And so that was like, you know, they were like, just like, we don't need this and we don't need this. And then the chorus goes into the major key and they're like, cause I love myself. And it's just like, hell yeah, you do. Yeah, I think music, you know what I mean? like, and I think musically like what accompanies that like in the verses is 
I feel like a word like aggressive is too weird. So I don't want to say it's like aggressive, but it's like, like powerful. You know, it's like the, it's like, the, the, like the mode intense, is different. It's intense. Kind of just, it's powerful. Yeah. yeah. Or no, aggressive in a good way. Yeah, I understand yeah, what yeah. you're saying. And so followed by the chorus, which is again like more celebratory. So the music reflects that. I feel like also they're beautiful. I don't care what anybody says. Ding. They think they're not then they are wrong. Hello everyone, I'm Umu React to K channel creator and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed or learned something from it. If you'd like to support us or help React to K grow, you can do so by visiting our Patreon and help us out by pledging any amount you can. Till next time.